The United Nations General Assembly debate commenced with Secretary General Guterres offering a frank assessment of the state of the world. Our world is becoming unhinged. Geopolitical tensions are rising. Global challenges are mounting. And we seem incapable of coming together to respond. We confront a host of existential threats, from the climate crisis to disruptive technologies, and we do so at a time of chaotic transition. World leaders took turns to highlight pressing global issues. Amidst this, Nigeria's Bola Tinubu listened to fellow leaders and engaged in sideline meetings, including discussions with King of Jordan and the President of Angola. After over 20 world leaders, Tinubu finally stepped onto the world's biggest diplomatic stage for his first address. On behalf of the people of Nigeria, President Tinubu highlights Africa's unique challenges rooted in a history of unfulfilled promises and exploitation. He urged global cooperation to support Africa's development. Many proclamations have been made, yet our troubles remain close at hand. Failures and good governance have ended Africa, but broken promises unfair treatment and outright exploitation from abroad have also exerted a heavy toll on our ability to progress. Given this long history, if this year's theme is to mean anything at all, it must mean something special and particular to Africa. Tinubu commits to leading by example through reforms in Nigeria, accepting short-term hardships for long-term growth. The question is not whether Nigeria is open for business. The question is how much of the world is truly open to doing business with Nigeria and how African is an equal, mutually beneficial manner. Direct investment in critical industries, opening their ports to a wider range and larger quantity of African exports, and meaningful debt relief are important aspects of the cooperation we seek. On the issue of climate change, Second. President Tinubu called for a Most fair, just and firm commitment to Africa. He also challenged the ongoing exploitation of Africa's mineral-rich areas, including Nigeria, citing crimes perpetrated by foreign entities and aided by local criminals. Given the extent of this injustice and the highest case involved, many Africans are asking whether the phenomenon is by accident or by design. In his approximately 20-minute speech, President Nubu concluded with a call for regional empowerment. To the rest of the world, I say, work with us as true friends and partners. Africa is not a problem to be avoided, nor is it to be pitied. Africa is nothing less than the key to the world's future. President Bola Tinubu's speech underscores that Africa's potentials and opportunities are global in scale. It is left to be seen how this speech inspires collaboration and efforts to unlock Africa's potential, leading to a better world for all. From the United Nations General Assembly, Adesua Omoran, Arise News.